हेलो एवरीवन आई एम योर होस्ट आयुषी कारा सेठिया एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल फैमिली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू शेयर पिंस फ्रॉम पिंटरेस्ट टू व्हाट्सएप अकाउंट ऑटोमेटिकली सो लेट्स टेक एन एग्जांपल दैट यू आर अ बिजनेस ओनर एंड यू आर यूजिंग पिंटरेस्ट अकाउंट टू शेयर योर बिजनेस रिलेटेड आइडियाज एंड इमेजेस नाउ यू हैव क्रिएटेड अ गूगल शीट इन व्हिच यू हैव योर कस्टमर डेटाबेस नाउ यू वांट दैट व्हेनेवर यू क्रिएट अ न्यू पिन इनटू योर पिंटरेस्ट अकाउंट automatically the same pin should be uh, sent to your customers on their whatsapp number for doing this you have two options first do it manually take the detail of the pin take the details of your google sheets uh, sorry take the details of your customers from your google sheet compose a message in your whatsapp and send it to the customer but this you will have to do it several times for all the customers you have to forward the same pin to all the customers manually so this will be a time consuming and a tiresome process the second option is you can create an automation by which you can easily share your pinterest pin the new pins that you create in your pinterest account automatically the same pin will get shared to all your customers on their whatsapp number automatically for this we need to create a connection between pinterest google sheets and whatsapp so in order to create a connection we are going to use a software application named Pabli Connect. So basically, Pabli Connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in integrating all these software applications automatically. The best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge. Even a non-technical person can use this software application very easily. So first, we have to create an integration between Pinterest and Pabli Connect. Then Pabli Connect is going to capture all the details of the pin that you have created into your Pinterest account. then we are going to create a connection between google sheets and pabli connect then all the details of the customers like his name his email address and his contact number will be captured in pabli connect then using the details of the customer as well as using the details of the pin we are going to send a message on their whatsapp number the message to the customers on their whatsapp number that you have published a new pin or you have uploaded a new pin into your pinterest account and in this way we are going to learn that how we can create an integration between all these software applications using pabli connect so let us learn the integration process now on my screen to start the integration let us type p a b b l y pabli.com in our browser this is a website of pabli here we have to come to products and click on pabli connect this is the landing page of pabli connect as you are the first time user you have to click on sign up for free option and you can create your own account in just 2 minutes by clicking on sign up free button you will get 100 task free every month as i already have an account with pabli connect i'll simply click on sign in in the all apps section come to pabli connect and click on access now this is the dashboard of pabli connect here we have to create a workflow for that come to this plus sign and click on create workflow now here we have to give a name to the workflow so let us give the name as pinterest to whatsapp integration here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create now here we can see a trigger window and an action window so pabli connect works on the concept of trigger and action trigger means when this happens action means do this So in this use case we want to share the pins from Pinterest to WhatsApp. So open this trigger window, choose the application name as Pinterest. Select the trigger event as new pin. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with Pinterest. Now as I am already logged into my Pinterest account is it is asking Pabli Connect would like to access the details. Let's click on give access. Authorization successful and now the Pinterest account is connected to Pabli Connect just because I was already logged into my Pinterest account. So make sure before creating a connection you are logged into your Pinterest account. Now here we have to select the board name. So I'll take you to my Pinterest account. Here I have already created some boards that is Pabli, Royal Sun, Sigma So I want all the pins to get created in this particular board named Pabli. So we have to select the same board name over here that is Pabli. Now before clicking on save and send test request first we have to create a new pin in our Pinterest account just because after clicking on this option it is going to capture the latest response. So I'll go back to my Pinterest account 
and here I'm just going to create a new pin by clicking on this plus sign, create and click on pin. Let's uh, add the image over here from the system. Okay, let's move to the pictures section and I'll just upload this core integrations image and I'll th add the title as core integrations. Okay, and I'm giving the description as public connect core integrations. So I have added the title, uh, its description as well as the image. Now let's click on save. Okay, and here we can see that this particular image is saved as a pin to our Pabli board. So let's move back to Pabli Connect and now we are going to click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the response is received and here we can find all the details of the pin like its title as core integrations, created date and time and when we scroll down, here we can find the URL, okay, this is the image URL and here we can find the description. Now here I want to give you an important information that here you can see that the data has captured immediately. But sometimes it may take some time in fetching the data as the trigger here is polling based. So if your data doesn't get captured immediately, don't worry about that and please wait for 15-20 minutes patiently, the data will surely arrive. Now we want to share this particular pin with our customers on their WhatsApp number. So we have created a Google Sheet in which we have entered the details of the customer like their name, their email address as well as their mobile numbers. So we want to create a connection between this particular Google Sheet and Pabli Connect so that the messages should be sent to all these customers. For that come to Pabli Connect and come to the action step. Here choose the application name as Google Sheets. Select the action event as get rows. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with Google Sheets. Now it is asking me to choose an account. So I'll just choose my account in which I have already created my Google Sheet. Fably Connect Sheets wants additional access to your Google account. Okay, so let's click on continue and give away the access as the data is 100% safe with Fably Connect. Authorization successful. And now the Google Sheets are connected to Pabli Connect. So as we have created a connection with Google Sheets, all the spreadsheets that we have created in our Google Sheet account are captured over here. Okay. So I have uh, created the spreadsheet named Clients Data where I have the sheet name as Sheet 1. So we are going to select the same spreadsheet name and the sheet name over here in Pabli Connect. So let us select the spreadsheet name as Clients Data. And the sheet name is automatically captured just because I have created a single spread, uh, sheet in this particular spreadsheet. Now here we have to give the range. Enter the range of the sheet that is A2 colon D2. You can use A2 colon D to get all the filled rows. So we have the data from column A till column C. So I am specifying the range as A2 colon C. And then I am not giving the end row over here. Just because if you are adding the data of your customers to this particular Google Sheet, all the details will be captured. So we are not specifying the end row. Okay. And now before clicking on save and send test request, first we have to make this simple response to advanced response so that the data can be captured in the array format. So why we are selecting the data in the array format? Just because all the details of the customers, say 100 rows or 1000 rows, all the details of the customers will be captured in Pabli Connect. And now let's click on save and send test request. And here we can see the response is received and in the result we can find the data or the details in the array format. Okay. Now we want to segregate this data in a particular manner in the row format. So click on this plus sign add action step. Select the application name as iterator. Uh, here we have to choose the array. So the array will be the response result of the Google Sheet which is automatically captured over here and let's click on save and send test request. So iterator segregates the data from the array format to the row format. Okay, Here we can find the row index as 2, name as Adam Smith, his email address, mobile number and the details. So I'll take you to the row 2 over here Okay, and here we can find the details of Adam Smith, his email address along with his mobile number. So the data is segregated in the row manner. So what iterator is going to do, iterator will come to the second row, it will pick the value, it will send the message, 
then it will again come to the uh, third row then again it will pick the mobile number and it will send the message and in this way it will keep on sending the messages up till the last row okay so we have got all the details of the customer now so using these details we want to send a message or a whatsapp message to this particular customer that is adam smith for that come to this plus sign and click on add action step here we have to choose the application name as 360 dialog in the action event we have to select send template message click on connect click on add new connection now it is asking for the api key and domain enter api key here you can create api key in your 360 dialog account log into your 360 dialog account move to whatsapp account page from the left sidebar and click on generate api key button so I'll take you to my 360 dialog account. So this is the dashboard of 360 dialog account. I have added the link of 360 dialog in the description box. By clicking on that link, you can reach to 360 dialog application and get 360 dialog service at a very affordable price than the actual price. Here we have to come to WhatsApp accounts. And here we can find generate API key option. So you have to generate the API key, copy that API key, Go back to public connect and paste the API key over here. Now once the API key is generated, the same API key can be used for various different connections and workflows. We don't have to generate the API key again and again. Now the domain is required. Enter the domain here which you will get while generating the API key. An example is also given. So I will just copy this example from here and I will be pasting the same example over here. Now whenever our account is approved, we get this particular domain by default. In your case, if you get some other domain, please paste that domain over here. After pasting API key and domain, simply click on save. Now, as I have already created a connection, I'll choose this option that is select existing connection and I'll click on save. And now 360 dialog account is connected to public connect as I was already logged into my 360 dialog account. Now here we have to select a template. So template is simply a message that you want to send on the WhatsApp number of the customer. So as we cannot send the messages directly on WhatsApp, first we need to create a template. We have to get it approved from Facebook. And once the template is approved, then only we can use that specific template for sending the messages on WhatsApp. So I'll take you to my 360 dialog account once again. And here I'll take you to the manage templates option. And here you can see that I have created several templates and got it approved. If you want to create a new template, come to this plus sign and click on add template. Here you can give a name to the template. From here you can select the category. Various categories are available. From here you can select the language of your choice. Here you can select the template type. And here you can give the template body text. That is the message that you want to send on the WhatsApp number. Then you have to click on preview and submit. And once this template is approved, you can use this template for sending the messages on WhatsApp. So I'll just close this template and I'll just open the one which I have already created and got it approved. Okay, I'm just finding the same over here. Yes, that is pin underscore share underscore one. I'll just open this template for you. So here I have given a basic message. Hey, we have posted a new pin on our Pinterest account. We are sharing the same pin with you. Please check the pin and share your valuable feedback regards Pabli. So here I have given one number in the curly braces. So this is the body field and the value of this body field is going to change every time. So as the customer name is Adam. So in this way, the message will get delivered to the customer and the name will get changed according to the Google sheet. And here header image URL will be attached. So let us select this particular template that is pin underscore share underscore one over here in public connect. Let us find the same template over here. Now the namespace and the language code is automatically captured. So we are not going to make any changes over here. Now the recipient mobile number is required. Let us read the instructions. Enter the recipient mobile number with country code example plus nine one and the mobile number. So remember here you have to map the WhatsApp number of the customer and the mobile number will be the customer mobile number who is going to receive the WhatsApp message. So we have already got the details of the customer through iterator. So we are going to map this mobile number now. Okay, come to recipient mobile number, come to iterator, 
and from here let us map the mobile number but here we can see that the country code is there but plus sign is missing so i'm just adding the plus sign manually over here okay now here header image url is required so we have already got the header image url from our pinterest account okay over here so this is the header image url so we are going to map this url now that is original url so come to 360 dialog over here and let us map the image url from pinterest and let us find the same that is originals url okay now here we have to give body field one example the name of the customer so the name is adam smith which we have got from iterator so we will be mapping the name from iterator over here okay iterator and this is the name of the customer so we have mapped all the details now let's click on save and send test request okay and here we can see the response is received it means the customer has received a message on his mobile number on his whatsapp number let's check it here we can find a new message from pabli and here we can see hey adam smith we have posted a new pin on our pinterest account we are sharing the same pin with you please check the pin and share your valuable feedback regards pabli and here we can find the pin so in this way we can see that our integration is working fine so let's move back to pabli connect and let us save this workflow first data saved successfully okay now we have to check this in the real time whether our integration is actually working fine or not for that we are just going to create a new pin in our pinterest account let's just close this window click on this plus sign again click on pin here i am just going to add a new image and this time let us select this uh, new use cases for pabli connect image title as new use cases and let us give the description as new use cases for pabli connect okay and let's click on save okay and here we can see that a new pin is saved to our pabli board so let's close this window now we have to check the whatsapp number of the customer whether the customer has received any message or not for that i'll move to the whatsapp and i'll just refresh it and here even after refreshing we can find the pin details shared on the whatsapp number just because the trigger here is polling based and it will take time to capture the response so let's wait for some time okay and here we have got a new message Hey Adam Smith, we have posted a new pin on our Pinterest account. We are sharing the same pin with you. Please check the pin and share your valuable feedback regards Pabli. And here we can find the pin details. That is new use cases for Pabli Connect. So in this way, we can see that our integration is working fine. And here we have got one more message, and this message is for Hina Khan. Just because I have added the same mobile number over here in the Google Sheet. Okay. Just for the checking purpose, I have given the same mobile number for Adam Smith also. for row true as well as for hina khan also here you can see that the number is same so that is the reason i have received two messages in the real time over here so in this way our integration is perfectly working fine let's move back to public connect and i'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now okay i'll just minimize this google sheet action window as well as the trigger window also so first we have created an integration between pinterest and public connect then public connect has captured all the details of the pin whenever a new pin was created into your pinterest account then we have uh, applied the google sheet action step to get the details of the customer over here in public connect then we have got all the details of the customer in the array format so we have applied the iterator just to segregate the data from the array format to the row format and at last we have shared the same pin details on the whatsapp number of the customer along with a message that a new pin has been shared and please check it and in this way we have created a successful integration between pinterest and whatsapp using pabli connect so not just these software applications you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using pabli connect in case of any queries you can visit our pabli forum to check the pricing details of pabli connect you can visit this particular url also the link of pabli connect and this workflow is available in the description box you can clone the same workflow into your account directly If you really like this video please comment share and subscribe thank you everyone